Parshas Vo'eiro, Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu, when Pharaoh will ask you for a mofes, tell Aharon, your brother, he should take your mate, kach is matecho, behashlich lifnei paro, and throw it in front of paro, and it's going to turn into a snake, a tanin. Which mate does he have to throw? The mate of Aharon, kach is matecho, Aharon take your mate, or the matter of Moshe. Apparently there were two sticks. The stick of Moshe was made from sun pirin, from sapphire, and from Aharon was made from wood. But which matter is going to turn into a snake? There's a machloikas between the Zohar and the Midrosh. The Zohar says it's not proper that the stick of Moshe that has the shame, shame, chokuk, engraved on it, should swallow up the sticks of the Hartumei Mitzrayim. The matter of Moshe had to be pure. The matter from Aharon is the one he threw and swallow up the matters from the Hartumei Mitzrayim. That's the Zoya shit. The Medrish Rabbo says no. It's matcho means the matter from Moshe. Usually the Zohar says the Drush and the Medrish says the Pshuto. Over here is just the opposite. The Zohar says we should tell Aharon Kaches matcho means the matter from Aharon. And the Medrash says, Kaches Matcho means the matter from Moshe. Why does the Midrash does not stick to the Pushi Pshat in the Posuk? The Chatumi Mitzrayim told Paro that this is all trickery from the Shadim, from Kishuf. But the Gemara says in Sanhedrin that Kishuf does not work on water. There is a union from Negel Vasa in the morning, and Makas Dam, a Haran takes a stick and puts it in the water and turns into Dam. It's impossible that it's from Kishuf, water. The first three matters, Dam, Tzfardeo, and Kinim, Datzach, were done through Aharon HaKohen. Why not through Moshe? So Rashi brings the Midrosh. HaKor Satov. Dam, Tzfardeo comes from the water. Moshe was saved by the water. Kinim comes from the offer. The offer covered the Mitzri. Moshe Rabbeinu did not want to be Kofu Toivo. The Gemara says that Nachman didn't want to pass on a Shaila about a certain Beis HaMerchatz, because he had a Noah from that Beis HaMerchatz. Even though the Beis HaMerchatz was a doimem, he didn't want to pass him against something that he had a Noah from it. So how come Aharon takes the Mate of Moshe and he does the Makas Dam to something that belongs to Moshe? Of course, we have to say that Moshe Rabbeinu was Makne, the Mate to Aharon, and now it belongs to Aharon, he tells Aharon, go ahead and make the Makas. If you look at the post, it says, Kach es matcho. That means kach es matcho. Kach make a kinya. Kicho kicho. And now belongs to you. Es matcho. Now it's yours. And now you're allowed to make the makas. And we will not have a problem from kofui toivo.